Hi everyone, today I'm going to review the Crayola Ultra Clean Washable Crayons. These are inexpensive crayons made for kids. And these are actually quite popular in the sense that if you have young children in schools and they have this gift exchange thing that is going on where you have to buy presents to exchange with other students, you can be sure that some parents will be buying this because this is exactly what my kid received from school and this is exactly what I would have bought too. <laughs> this particular box here has 24 colors and in this video I will be comparing them to uh, what I think is the gold standard of crayons, the Karen Dutch new color one, wax pastels or crayons. All the colors are listed here at the top of the box. So this is made in USA says here you can clean or wash away the crayons very easily which is great because young children they like to draw everywhere the world is their canvas um, the crayons are non-toxic and that's about it there's no information on light fast quality because i mean these are made for children these are not going to be archival crayons here's a closer look at a stick Ultra clean, washable, ultra lovable. And oh, the color is here. So they have colors listed on the label for all the crayons. When I hold this crayon, it feels a bit plasticky. I'm not sure why. Anyway, um, the size, it's, I will say, pretty standard. This is the Karen Dutch crayon. They are about the same size and same length. When I have my finger on this, it does feel a bit more waxy than usual. When you use up the crayon, you have to find some way to peel off the label on the side. Whereas for the Karen Dutch you see here, they have the label made specifically for you to tear away. So this is very convenient. So I'm going to test the covering strength of the crayons first. Let's start with Crayola first. It does feel a bit more waxy than usual and as you can see it's rather transparent. This color is golden rod. As I apply the crayon on the paper you can see the little particles coming out. This paper is 250 GSM mixed media paper with fine grain texture and here I am able to cover the paper quite well. Next we have Karen Dutch and you can see it's rather transparent as well. The nice thing about this is you don't see those uh, physical particles coming out when you apply the crayon on paper. And now let's see if we can blend the colors. It's not too bad, but here you can see those are physical particles, they are coming out again. So I'm going to press down really hard and see what happens. Let's do the same thing with Karen Dutch. Seems to be easier to cover or blend here. Again, we don't have the physical particles coming out. And now let's add some water and see how water soluble or how washable the crayons are. Earlier on, I had used the Karen Dutch New Color 1, which is not water soluble, but this is New Color 2, which is water soluble. And for the water soluble Karen Dutch crayons, um, they are slightly more waxy compared to the non soluble one, but not as waxy compared to the Crayola. Okay, let's apply some water. So this is very water soluble. And you can see once the pigments, once they dissolve, the intensity, um, it's really fantastic. And this is the Crayola. 
does not dissolve as readily compared to the current Dutch. I do have to like scrub it to help uh, with the crayon dissolving. And you can see the intensity here, it's not as good compared to the current Dutch. I mean, you do get what you pay for. And if I keep doing this, I'm pretty sure the paper fiber will come off. I'm going to draw on this wet area first. And now I'm drawing on this wet surface. You can see the color is pretty intense again. This is the Crayola. It's all right, just that the color here it's not as intense compared to the current Dutch, but you can dissolve the pigment, the crayon, more easily here. Let's see what happens when I mix colors here. All right. Um, very difficult for me to apply a second layer onto the Crayola. Here it really feels very waxy. With the Karen Dutch, it's easier for me to mix the colors on the wet surface. So this is where you can see the difference in quality. These are meant to be water washable, not water soluble, even though they are water soluble. But it's really for you to wash the crayon off your sofa, your curtains, your wall easily. And because these crayons are so inexpensive, you won't feel the hot brick when your kid breaks the crayons into small pieces like mine did with the Karen Dutch. For drawing, they work quite well. Oops, I should have used this color for the fur right here at the top. Let me see if I can cover the original color. These are definitely student grade, no, toddler grade crayons. You do get what you pay for. They are very inexpensive and in terms of value for money for parents, I think they are really worth the money because when it comes to drawing, they perform quite well. The selling feature here is they are washable so they can wash them off surfaces that you don't want crayons on. What I don't like about these crayons is um, those tiny little particles that drop off. When you are coloring those particles, they can drop anywhere on the floor and it's going to make cleaning a bit more tedious. For subscribers on my channel who appreciate higher quality products, if you are into crayons, definitely consider the Karen Dutch Neo Color 1 and Neo Color 2. Alright, I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you guys again. Bye!